Yami and welcome to another gacha where today I'm reacting to Princess Prisoner. It's quite a dramatic title and I'm very excited to get into it. But before we do, guys, did you know that I have a second channel where I post gaming videos? So if you're interested in that, make sure to go to youtube.com forward slash Miss Yami X. I'll also have the link in the description and up in the eye. Let's get into the gacha. In the kingdom of Evrizar. There's the royal king and queen with their two beautiful princesses, Nicolette and Chantel. All right, girls, as you turn 18 next year, one of you will be able to take the throne. There is a rule. You have to be married to be able to take the throne because of our traditions. The first princess to be married will be crowned queen. That's me, Nicolette. As father told me and my sister that, I wasn't really worried because I have no intentions of taking the throne and because I have no intentions of getting married anytime soon. But I would be lying if I said I wasn't seeing anyone. Ooh, she's dating somebody, but who is it? Oh, we get to see him. Yes, I have a boyfriend of sort. His name is Holden. No one knows of our relationship and everything is going great until my sister found out. Not the secret relationship being busted by the sister. Yes, father, you asked for me. Ah, Nicolette, your sister said that she has some good news to tell me. And I figured that you would like to listen to it. Father, I would like to introduce you to my fiance, Holden. Wait a second, what? Holden? Huh? Do you know him, Nicolette? Oh, what are you talking about? Holden's never met anyone else from the royal family. Yes, he has. He is actually dating Nicolette. He's a two-time Right, dear? Yep, that's right. That night. Poor girl, she has been cheated on. Also, why does her sister want the sloppy seconds, though? Would you really want to date somebody that was already dating your sister? No, because it's weird and it's wrong. Explain yourself. Look, Nicolette, I... Hey, my fiancé! What do you say we go for a walk in the royal park? I'm not in the mood. I'll just go back to my room. Oh, trouble in paradise, I see. I guess I'll just be preparing for my throne dress. Throne dress? Don't tell me you forgot. The princess who gets married first will be able to take the throne. Now that I have a fiance, that means I'll be the next queen. That's why you took Holden away from me. Who are you even talking about? If you're talking about my fiance Holden, then you're severely mistaken, sister. Stop lying. You found out about our relationship, didn't you? And instead of talking to me about it, you just straight up took him from me. Why would you do this to me? Because I can't let you steal the throne away from me. So not only did she steal the boy, she stole the throne. I didn't know if Holden was cheating or if it was the sister that stole him, but either way, Holden is still rude for accepting. How could he do this to Nicolette? It's always been my dream to rule the kingdom. I was looking for a partner ever since father made that announcement and after finding finding out that you already had one. But I never intended to take the throne in the first place. I was keeping my relationship with him a secret so that you could introduce your fiance first. And even if father told me to take the throne, I would refuse. We could have talked it out, but instead you decided to go this route. Well, what are you gonna do about it? <gasps> The sister is rude and I am not here for it. I've already introduced him as my fiance. I can't just take it all back. If you tell father about this, he won't believe you. I say, just go find another guy. That's all you can say? Not even a sorry for taking someone so important from me? All right, let's be real. He's probably only dating you in the first place because you're a princess. Guys like that only care about themselves. So why does she want to marry him then? Make it make sense. I mean, he literally pulled a 180 and decided to marry me instead because he knew he could also rule the kingdom. That is true, not gonna lie. Open your eyes, princess. He's not like that. If he's like that, then he wouldn't have stayed with me for over seven years. I mean, I would too if it means a guaranteed luxury life, which is why he wants to marry me instead. Because he's in it only for the money, not you. What do you want? Where's Nicolette? She's not in her room. Oh, I see. You're worried about her because she slapped me. She wouldn't even hurt a fly, let alone slap someone. I know you did it. Really think I would hurt my face just to frame her. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. After our agreement, I found out you'd do anything for what you want. But if you ever hurt Nicolette like that again, I- What are you gonna do? Chicken out and go back to her? You know what's gonna happen if you do. What is the agreement? I need to know. Spill the tea. Oh boy. If it goes on like this, there's a chance he would go back to Nicolette despite the consequences. No. 
I won't let that happen. I have just the plan. Sorry, sister. You're gonna have to go for a little while. I need to do this for everyone's sake. The next week. Where are we? It looks like we're in a store. Excuse me, Princess Nicolette. Will you please give this knife to Princess Chantel? Why would Chantel ask for a knife? Um, oh, you seem to be in a hurry. All right, give that to me. Yes, hand over the knife. A very normal thing to give someone. Why does the princess need a knife? What is going on? You asked for a knife? Why? Give it to me and I'll tell you. What are you trying to do? Nicolette, what are you doing? Nicolette, stop it. What? I didn't do anything. Call the ambulance immediately. I can't believe this. She's been framed. Nicolette, what do you have to say for yourself? Father, I didn't do anything. This is unacceptable. I can't let you stay and potentially hurt anyone else. Take her to the dungeon. Not the dungeon. Oh my, she's been framed as a criminal. Her sister is truly evil. No, no, please believe Believe me, I didn't do it. Well, the evidence says otherwise. How did I end up here? I didn't do anything. I shouldn't be here. I didn't do it. Did I? She's gone crazy. She's even questioning herself. Did she do it? Did she mean to? No. Her sister framed her and her sister is evil. The next day, look at her. She still has the nerve to eat lunch after she tried to kill someone. Shameless. I would never eat anymore and starve to death if I did something bad. Hey, you. You tried to poison someone, didn't you? How's prison life, princess? Please, leave me alone. Wow, that's kind of rude to someone who's got your back. Well, I guess it's kind of expected from someone who tried to kill her own sister. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, please. Did I? Well, if I did. No, you didn't. How would you know? Because I know an innocent face when I see one. You look and act like you wouldn't even hurt a fly, let alone a person. Thanks for believing in me. No problem. I'm Isla. And I'm... your Nicolette. I know, I know. Princess Nicolette. Wow, a little entitled for the circumstances, don't you think? Everybody report to the cleaning dock and start. It means it's chore time. We're assigned to clean up the prison grounds during this time. Now let's get our butt there before they beat us up. <laughs> beat us up? Here, use this. It's the easiest to do. Oh, okay. Now what do I do? You just clean. There in that corner. Don't tell me you've never cleaned using a broom before. Oh man. All right. Let's go. I'll teach you. I mean, is this girl forgetting that she's with a literal princess who's probably never lifted a finger in her entire life? So first you do this and then this. There, it's that easy. Oh, okay. I get it now. Attention! Princess Chantel is visiting. Stay in your place and continue your work. Don't cause any trouble. Oh, my dear sister. How unfortunate it is to see you like this. You know I didn't do it. What do you mean? All of the evidence pointed towards you trying to kill me. I mean, just look at all of these scars that you gave me. Now my hands will never be as smooth as last time. Nothing is smooth about you. What's that? Did you just talk back to the queen of this kingdom? Queen's the last thing I would have thought, since you're clearly incapable of acting like one. What? You? Tell me. Is a queen going to come to prison just to ruin someone's reputation even more? I don't think so. Even I can tell what a queen will act like. Yes, Isla, I love her. She's smart, she's funny, and she has pink hair. What else is there to love? All right, let's add 10 years to your prison sentence and then you'll know not to mess with me. What? You clearly don't know what I'm capable of. I'll make you a deal then. Why don't you transfer those added 10 years to your partner over here? You mean Nicolette? Why would I? Unless you want to spend another 10 years down here. It's your choice after all. You can't do that. Hmm? What's that? Law Enforcement 3. Rule 134. Number 6. Only the king and queen or judge are able to change a prisoner's sentence. The fact that you're still a princess does not give you the right to do anything with any prisoner's sentence. And you can't make the queen or king change prisoner Nicolette's sentence because the fact of the matter is, she is still their daughter. No parent would do that to their daughter. But she tried to! They will not do that. After all, prison and Nicolette has already been given her punishment. Fine, this is a waste of time anyway. There he goes again. York, always there to save the day. Huh? How are you acting so calm, Isla? A few minutes ago, you were practically panicking inside, not knowing what to do. Thanks for your help. Anytime, prisoner Nicolette. Um, it's Princess Nicolette to you. Can't change the fact that she's now a prisoner. <laughs> it's fine. I'll get my princess title back once I prove my innocence. Your innocence? Yeah, do you really think she looks like she has the intent to kill someone? Well, no, but I thought they have investigated this matter and proven her guilty. Well, clearly Chantel has a few 
tricked up her sleeves not to continue an investigation. She probably used her parents' emotions and Nicolette's naiveness to her advantage. Hmm. A worthy opponent. Um, what does that mean? Just wait and see. Hello, I'm York and I would like to help you with your case. Wait, what? I want to help you prove your innocence if you don't mind. He's the most knowledgeable guy in here. After he got imprisoned, he started reading and studying law. If you ask me, he would probably be a pretty good lawyer after he gets out. I still have some improvement to make, Isla. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, thanks for wanting to help me. I promise you, I'll help you get into a good law firm after you get out. You, you don't have to do that. Come on, opportunity doesn't knock twice. Thanks, Nicolette. What plan do you have in mind? Oh, why does my fiance look so rushed? Are you coming to see if I'm okay? Well, to answer that, I do not care about you. You did this, didn't you? Why? Oh, what are you talking about? I did absolutely nothing wrong. Why did you frame Nicolette? She didn't do anything. I didn't. She tried to kill me and that's what she gets. Don't worry, I'll set her free if you beg. Set her free now. I didn't agree to this. Let me say this one more time, Holden McCall. You don't have a say in anything related to her. Don't forget the reason why you could date her in the first place. Now screw off before I change my mind about our agreement. I still want to know what this agreement is all about. So that's what happened. If we can expose her, you'll definitely be set free. But how are we going to expose her? We're stuck in this prison, literally. You said that she stole your boyfriend so that you can't take the throne, right? Yeah, I can't believe it. I don't even want the throne. She could have talked to me about it. Is there any way that we could contact that boyfriend of yours? It seems he's only agreeing to marry her because of something. Either she bribed him or something, or blackmailed him. She probably bribed him. He is from a poor family. If we can contact him, we can ask him to help expose Princess Chantel by making her say everything she's done herself. How are we supposed to make her say it? Maybe he can anger her since he's probably going to be with her and know some things that she doesn't like. And she'll end up spilling everything. But I have no idea how to contact Holden. Prisoner Nicolette, a guest has requested to visit you. You think that's him? Well, if it is him, this is your chance to ask him to help you. Right. Thanks guys, I'll be back. What the heck am I doing here? Hey, oh, hey, how's prison? It's not too bad, don't worry. I'm gonna get out of here. What? How? Clearly I'm innocent, so I don't see why I have to stay here. But to get out of here, I need you to prove my innocence and I need your help. We'll be able to get back together once I'm out of here. Do you really wanna get back with this scumbag? Of course, I know my sister bribed you with some money because of your family needs. Bribe? More like blackmail. So. Will you help me? Sorry, I can't do this. What? Holden, you know I'm innocent. You can't just leave me here. Don't you want us to get back to the way we were? I do, but... Then help me. I promise we'll be back together like we used to. No matter what it takes. Doesn't matter if my parents don't agree. You're the only person I want to be with. You telling the truth? Yes. Hmm. I don't think you'll forgive me for what I've done though. What are you talking about? What did you do? Promise everything about us will go back to the way it was. Yes, Holden, I promise. Hmm, I'm not sure it will. All right, what do you need me to do? Why do I not like Holden? I feel like he's hiding something really bad. And also the fact that he agreed to this in the first place, which ended up in Nicolette being arrested. I don't think she should be dating him. Here. Oh, thank you. Why did she give you that? Oh, Sir Holden, it's just my salary. Nothing special. But you don't get your salary until the end of the month. Be honest, what was that for? Otherwise, I'm going to have to expose you for taking a bribe and get you fired. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Let me just call the king and ask him to see the amount of money that you have. That day, Princess Chantel told me to give a knife to Princess Nicolette, and she told me not to tell anyone that she gave me the instructions. But I think she framed Princess Nicolette for trying to kill her, because Princess Nicolette is too kind to want to kill someone. All right, thanks for the info. Duh, did you record that? Yep, he did. Yeah, don't worry. You won't lose your job. We need to talk. What now? I know you framed Nicolette that day. Are we really talking about this? I told you I did nothing wrong. Oh, really? Then listen to this. That day, Princess Chantel told me to give a knife to Princess Nicolette. I think she framed Princess Nicolette for trying to kill her. Now, there's three voices saying that you framed her. The maid, Nicolette, 
and me. Poof, you? Are you sure you want to expose me like this? Sure, I framed her. She didn't actually try to kill me. Is that what you wanted to hear? Well, let me remind you of something. The only one who's gonna get exposed is you. Don't forget, I know what happened that night. What? You're gonna kill me in the same way? Do it, with or without me. The truth will come out, not if no one knows about it. Are you sure that no one knows about it? I don't think I was the only witness that night. What? What are you talking about? I'm just saying that I wasn't the only one there that night. All right, have fun. Bye. What? He murdered someone? Or killed someone on accident? I'm not sure, but either way, that's pretty bad. Does this mean that someone else was there that night? No way, there's only four people there that night. The truth? Nicolette won't believe that, right? All right, whatever. It's time. Hold! You are under arrest, Princess Chantel. What? What are you? Don't be so harsh on her. Just let her be locked in her room for the time being. No need to send her to jail. Are you sure? She didn't have this kind of mercy for you. Yes, I got out of prison thanks to Holden's help. He managed to get the voice recordings of Chantel admitting to her mistakes. And yes, I did get the option to put Chantel in prison like she did to me. But I don't have the will to do it since... She's still my sister. After getting out of prison, a few months later, Isla and York also finished their time. As I promised, York is now working in a big law firm. And Isla? Well, she doesn't know what to do yet, so I asked if she wanted to live in the castle. At first she denied, but after some convincing, she agreed. Well, now you're probably wondering, what's going on with Holden and I? Well, he proposed, and we're getting married in a month. I'm really excited. And as for Chantelle, well, she's been locked in her room for some time. I did visit her a couple of times, and let's just say I'm trying. How's lunch? I have a question. Huh? What is it? Why are you still nice to me? Why don't you just send me to jail already? I would never do that. You're my sister. Sister? You still accept me as your sister? Well, yeah. Even if you don't see me as your sister anymore, I... I do. You're always going to be my sister. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I forgive you. I know we have our misunderstandings. I know you have an explanation and you can tell me once you're ready. I am sorry, but she is way nicer than I would be in this situation. If somebody tried to accuse me of trying to kill them, I would show no mercy. So, how are things with Holden? We're getting married in a month. A month? That soon? Yeah, what's wrong? Did you actually have feelings for him? No, 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 I've never had feelings for that guy. It's just, are you sure he's the one? Like, nobody else can replace him? Yeah, I've decided that he is the one for me. Not even Ezra can replace him? He can if he's still here, but he's not, and I've moved on. Sorry. Why are you apologizing? It's not your fault. Hmm, yeah. Oh, right. Here's an invitation to our wedding. I've been wanting to give it to you for a while now. No thanks. I don't think I'll be going. What? Why? It's not a good look if a criminal shows up, right? But you're not a criminal. You're my sister. Sorry. No. I'll just leave it here. And if you change your mind... Hey, what are you doing here? Can't I talk to my sister? No, no, that's not what I meant. I... I came here because I wanted to see if you wanted to hang out in the park today. Oh. Sure, let's go. He was totally here to make sure that her sister wasn't going to tell her all about the murder. Don't worry, I haven't told her anything. But I don't think it's me you have to worry about right now. What are you talking about? Remember, I wasn't the only one there. Who was watching? I need to know. Bummer. I've always wanted to go to Nicolette's wedding. Oh well, why go when the wedding's not going to happen? Why is it not going to happen? Why is there so much tea in this story? I love it. Hope you don't mind if my little brother tags along. No, of course not. Hi. Hi, are you my brother's girlfriend? Yes, I'm Nicolette. What's your name? I'm Leon. Hey, Leon, do you want some ice cream? Yeah, can you go buy it? I want to stay with sister Nicolette. Seems like he already picked who he likes more. Haha, <laughs> all right. I'll go buy some. So, Leon, what do you like to do? Um, play video games? Of course. All kids like that. Sister Nicolette. Yes? Thanks for staying with my brother. Even after what he did to brother Ezra. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, this kid is just dropping a bombshell. Ezra? How did you know about him? That night when brother Ezra and you were in the park? When you left... My brother stabbed him. What? I literally can't believe this right now. What is happening? Holden did... What? He killed him. The way he said that with a smile on his face though. Then, when you came back, he comforts you and now you're getting married. I'm really excited. Oh, this kid. Haha, <laughs> he's just joking. You know, kids. No, I'm not. 
Even Sister Chantel was there. She was the one who brought me home and she explained everything. She's very nice. Nicola, wait, is it true? Is what true? That what happened to Ezra wasn't an accident? Oh, you figured it out. No, 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 this, this can't be true. Can it? Oh, yes it can. I mean, don't you find it a little weird that he's right there after Ezra died? Oh my gosh, we're getting a flashback. Here they are, in the park. She's chilling out with Ezra. She leaves. Somebody comes along, looking very suspicious. And the next thing you know, he has been trapped. Oh my gosh, so dramatic for what? Why did he even do that? Oh, he wanted to get the girl and he wanted the throne. Come here. Nicolette, get out before I call the guards. You can't say I didn't warn you now, can you? To be fair, she's right. She she was saying all along like this is gonna come out and I'm pretty sure she tried to protect her sister from marrying him. But here we are. She was bound to find out at some point that her best friend Holden was so jealous of her boyfriend Ezra that he killed him. Get out. I can explain. What? Explain how you killed Ezra? I loved him. I thought you were happy for us. She clearly doesn't want any of your explanation. I suggest you run away before the guards get here. Oh my gosh. The sister is so savage. I love it. So... All this time you knew. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you drag Leon into this? He's just a kid. I didn't. He was there that night. Oh my gosh, flashback again. Yeah, they were actually both there watching all along. Leon, what are you doing here? Let's go home. Okay. There. Now just stay here until your brother comes home, all right? Poor kid. He can't believe what he just saw. Should we tell Sister Nicolette about that? About what? That my brother was the one who killed that man. You saw it. Yeah, I was there from the start. I think my brother did a bad thing. We'll tell Nicolette the truth later. How about that? Leon trusts Chantel, right? Um, okay. Why? Why not tell right then and there? I don't want to make you suffer even more. Your boyfriend just died. And now you want me to tell you that the one that killed him is a person you thought you could trust the most? So... What was your plan? When I found out that night, I was planning on telling you. But then day after day, I saw you becoming happier and happier. I was about to tell you when I found out you guys were dating. Then I found out that Holden was actually preparing to propose to you. And I honestly can't stand it at that point. I was furious that he had the audacity to do that after he killed Ezra. I wanted to make him suffer. The thought of not getting to be with you. So I threatened him with what happened that night. And if he doesn't want you to find out, he has to be my fiance. This plan is ridiculous because why would the sister want to be with a murderer? And why would the sister want to put her grieving sister in prison? Like, everyone in this story is messed up for real. With him being my fiance, he's not going to be able to be with you anymore after we're married. Because in our law, it's forbidden. Then I realized he's probably just going to tell you to run away with him. Can't let that happen. So I decided I had to trap you in this kingdom. So I decided to pull that stunt and put you in prison. It was only for a little bit. I wanted him to think that he did this and the only way out for him was to tell you the truth. Then my plan was ruined and I decided that it was time to tell you. Doesn't matter if he doesn't admit it himself anymore. Leon volunteered to tell you, so I let him. Then if you wanted me to stay in prison for a little, why did you want to add 10 years to my sentence? A friend just got on my nerves, all right? I'm sorry. Will you be all right? I'll deal with it. It's just overwhelming right now, but I'll be okay. Honestly, a wild relationship between these sisters. And that's where this sketch has ended. It was so dramatic and I loved it. If you want to see another video from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.